Hello, today I want to show you how to recreate Gravity Rush's flying mechanic. So you can fly in any direction you want. The camera is a bit weird, but that's... You will know. And you can reset it whenever. You can run at walls, reset, jump, reset. So I'm using a free plugin, Ninja Character plugin. You need to download it. Uh, it even has replication and support. Go on to the support page. Uh, there's a how to use section here. Just follow all of this and you will end up with, if you have show any show plugin content and C++ classes enabled in your content browser, you will find the plugin, you will have the base character there, copy the movement if you haven't already, put it into your normal character that you want to use. Also in the character movement I have this uh, only enabled the line component to gravity. So step one is very simple. I just get the character movement and cast it and save it. And now I have two special inputs. So go into your project settings, input, add flying and cancel fly or whatever you want to call it. So in gravity rush, if I can remember correctly, uh, when you press fly, first you enter a bit of a hovering state where you can look around and decide where to go. Then you press it again, you will move into that direction. And if you press it again while, while flying, you will stop again. And then repeat these last two states. So to do that, I have made a enum. So blueprints, enum, name it whatever you want. I have given it three states, idle, floating and flying. So idle is when we're just doing something else, walking on the ground or something. Floating is when we're standing in the air. Could also call it hovering and of course flying. Add a variable to your uh, class of type, whatever you call it, your enum. Default value is just idle, of course. And so in the game, when you are standing on the ground and you press the hover button R1 or something, then it will push you up a bit. So to do this, simply check if we're falling. If we are not falling, that means we're standing on the ground. So I simply launch the character, delay it a bit and then stop the movement immediately and set gravity to zero. This way we stand in the middle of nowhere and don't fall. Also, I set the our next state to floating and I set the line gravity to base. This makes it so whatever you fly against will be your new gravity. So you when you jump, you keep on this going this direction instead of the normal down. Uh, next, to actually do the flying, if we are floating, we simply change the fixed gravity direction to whatever our camera is looking at, looking forward. So get your player camera manager, get the forward vector, set the fixed gravity to that direction, turn on gravity again and we set ourselves to fly. And to reset, so after flying we reset, we set the fixed gravity direction now instead of whatever our camera was pointing towards back to just 0, 0, negative 1, so just downwards. Set the gravity scale back up to 1, idle again, Al don't align us anymore to the gravity because we are doing the normal gravity anyways. And I just also like having a bit of a jump 
don't need it really, but I think the game does push you a bit away as well. So the camera is a bit weird, but I'm still trying or looking into how it works, seeing if I can somehow fix it or not. But that's not really something for this tutorial. If I figure it out, I will let you know, maybe make a video about it. So I hope this helped you. It's pretty simple, really. And yeah, get the plugin. It's really useful. So thanks for watching.